Minokin began with the joining of two prominent families in colonial Virginia. Francis Lightfoot Lee was reared at Stratford Hall in Westmoreland County. When he married Rebecca, the daughter of John Taylor II of Mount Airy in Richmond County, the father of the bride gave the young couple 1,000 acres of land and financed construction of their home, which they call Minokin. The house was to be two stories with a vaulted cellar and made of sandstone from a nearby quarry. Construction began in 1769, at about the time the American colonies began to move toward revolution and a break with Britain. In 1775, Rebecca and Francis moved to Philadelphia, where they lived for four years during Lee's tenure in the Continental Congress. In Philadelphia, Lee and his fellow patriots, including his brother Richard Henry Lee, signed the Declaration of Independence and prepared for the war that was to come. After the war's successful conclusion, Lee returned to Minokin, where he and Rebecca lived out their lives in this peaceful setting. They lived at Minokin until they died, barely a month apart in the winter of 1797. Francis and Rebecca had no children. After their deaths, Rebecca's brother, John Taylor III, acquired title to the property. Later, Minokin became the home of John Taylor Lomax, who was handpicked by Thomas Jefferson to be the first professor of law at the University of Virginia. The Taylors sold the property in 1823, and over the years, the ownership of the Minokin Plantation passed to a number of different families. By the time of the Great Depression, the house had begun to fall into a state of disrepair. The condition of the house worsened by the early 1960s. The Omohundro family, who had inherited the property, saved what they could. Worried that vandals and the elements were taking their toll, the owners removed the doors and other woodwork, putting them in a safe place. Not long after, sometime around 1968, the inevitable occurred. The roof collapsed and it appeared the historic landmark would be lost. Fortunately, it wasn't. In 1995, the Minokin Foundation, led by Martin King, received title to the house and 500 of the original acres. The generosity of Edgar Omohundro enabled the foundation to preserve and interpret the site to teach future generations about history, architecture, conservation, and ecology. <laughs>